Ruta. Rudania. Naburis. And Meadow. All setting their sights on Hyrule Castle. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we tamed, or purged, defeated, Divine Beast Va Meadow, obtaining probably one of my favorite blessings thus, well, in the game, since I can't say thus far anymore. Now, I say favorite, even though we just got it last episode, because, as always, I do things in between episodes. And this time, it was upgrading my gear. Because I did say that for Divine Beast Vomito, I would be I would keep my gear at level 1. But, now that we have passed that point, I have upgraded it all to the 4th level. Which means that the set bonus is unfreezable which I thought was a unique status effect granted by Zant's helmet. But now that this set grants it, there is literally no reason to use Zant's helmet ever again. Also, I've upgraded the snow boots. It was a bit difficult. Uh, it required some some uh, components that were hard to find or just were had a low percentage chance of dropping. But I managed to upgrade it to the fourth level because we are going to be heading into the new region soon enough. This time, we have some unfinished business in uh, Rito Village. One of those is to talk to this guy. Because, if you remember, if I can put it on screen, Fison, we spoke to him before, but we reloaded the save to when we had yet to talk to him. Because he had some unique dialogue about the Divine Beast being tamed, and I figured that I would like to show off both versions of this in the Let's Play, and this was the only method I could I could go about doing so. So let's talk to Fison again, or again for the first time. Hey, Evenin. I'm glad Meadow has settled down, but I have bigger problems. My mom said he wants she wants me to take over the family store someday. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Mm. But I don't want to compete with Mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Have you ever heard of Terrytown? Terrytown? Tell me more. Well, it's this place. It's very uh, culturally diverse. It, it has a woman there. <laughs> Which means, you know, they, they have women there too. So they're in need of a general store. That's perfect. But the Akala region, that's pretty far out there. I guess I gotta leave the nest someday. And to have my own store. <laughs> Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going. I know, I'll gather some items on the way to Terrytown and then sell them at my new shop. Uh. Thanks for the tip. Uh, oh, and hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new sh home sometime. Is he gonna fly away or just wave awkward? He's gonna walk away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because they didn't want to animate his flying. Now, we do have unfinished business here in uh, Rito Village still, but I think that it, in the name of continuity, I would like to go back to Terrytown because, first of all, this is our fourth person. We now have one person from every single major race in the game over at Terrytown, so at this point, it's done. So uh, let's head back to Harry t to Harrytown. Let's head back to Harrytown and find out whether or not things are actually hairy. Beautiful Terrytown. It looks like there's been some progress made. Oh no, maybe not. I thought that that was a, a, a rock wall, but no, it's it's still the rubble. Let's see, there's the general store. Uh, let's speak with Hudson first, because I believe that's how they want us to do it. Whoa. Hudson, hey! You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here, thank you! He wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family runs one too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You should really go check out the store. Mm. Well, next is... So before we can call more people here, uh, we need even more homes. Can you bring me 50 bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine that with what I already got and get started on new houses. From the ground up. The final stage, I am guessing. Uh, how much wood do we have? Thankfully, there's a... Wow. Wow! <laughs> we have 
exactly 50. That's great. Uh, let's let's talk to Fison first. I was expecting to have to go kill some guardians down there and get all that done, but no. Whoa. Whoa. What? This is. That's so. Oh. Hey, Fison. Oh, hey. What can I get you? I. Hey. How? Wow. Hey. It's been a while. Remember me, Fison? After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. Terrytown is really great. Nice weather. No moms to annoy me. <laughs> it's really great being able to run my own shop and sell the things I want to sell. Anyway, I'm open for business, so shop to your heart con heart's content. Wow. It, this is just like the best place to get arrows, I think. Okay, uh, well, first I'm gonna... Oh, wait, I probably should be on this side of the store. Uh, no, maybe not. I need to sell some things to him. I'm gonna buy some arrows, and then I'll go give, uh, hey! go give Bolson some wood. Man, he sells 50 arrows of each variety, so you can just get 50 of the, some of the rarer arrows, like ice and fire arrows, and, you know, shock arrows are as freeze as can be, but bomb arrows as well, this is, this is useful. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's talk to Bolson again, give him his lumber, and, Ooh. and see what, uh, the, the town is gonna look like now. I brought him. Excellent. Can I have him? Sure. You're a life saver. And now I am wood broken. Actually, I want to talk about something a little personal. What's wrong? Oh, uh, not that kind of personal. Actually, I got engaged. No way! It's true. To who? To Ronson. Wow. I kind of saw that coming, but <laughs> you're a cute couple anyway. Thank you. Anyway, we want to have a little uh, ceremony to celebrate, but we need someone priest-like to officiate. Could you look for someone priest-like for us? Priest-like, huh? We're looking for people devout enough to have a priest-like person. I'd suggest... Oh. We don't have a Zora, do we? A Zora. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Yeah, in accordance with the official, yeah, they have to end in stun. If you know anyone that looks like that or has that name, then send them to Terrytown. Alright, uh, you know what? I didn't expect us to set aside this much of the episode to Terrytown, but I think we're so close to completing this. I'm gonna head over to the Zora, to Zora's domain and see if I can find someone with the name Sun. Maybe Sun Goku. Looking for someone with the last name of Sun. It's gonna be someone not too busy. Azora, definitely. And someone that is fairly disposable. I wish he had an S instead of a D. That would have been cool. Rivon, Dunma, Coda, Caden, Merritt, Clef, Dento, Trello, Totika, Baz, Groove, Tula, Torfio with a quest that we'll get to later. Tona, Finley, Laruta, Capson. Capson. If your travels couples me. Joining, oh, sorry. Joining two souls is a true honor. One I shall stake my life on. Just one more wedding and I shall shall soon be fulfilled. Get a load of this. I have been waiting to hear those words. Now, please tell me the specifics. As for the location, hmm, Tawi Town in Akawa. Akawa isn't too far from here. It would please me to hurry the right away. Yes, please. <laughs> bah ha ha! Weave it to me. It has been a long while while I have had work. I am eager to put my skills to good use. You should come as well. I will start my preparations in Tewi Town. In the meantime.
I just flew into Terrytown, and I have to say, it's looking mighty fine. Wow. Look at it. This is all our doing. I mean, our and the Sun and Bolson Company's doing. Look at that. What is that? It's a cool bell. This is, this is something else. Oh, there they are. Wait, did we miss this? Oh, please don't tell me we missed the ceremony. Also, I, did, I never realized how little height difference there was between them. I thought this was going to be really awkward, but she's also pretty short as far as, as Grudo go. Hudson, Ronson, hey. You found Azora? Thank you, really. And he and I talked earlier, and he said that he literally was a priest before re he retired. You can't get any more priest-like than that. And his name is Capson, so I have no objection there. It really is amazing that you were able to find someone priest-like who also had an acceptable name. Well, next is... Uh-huh. Of course, we have to invite guests in order to hold a ceremony. Guests? Well, I'm talking about my boss, Bolson, and my subordinate, Carson. However, I gotta prepare for the ceremony, so my hands are full. Could you invite them for me? Where are they? You know where they are. The boss and Carson are in Hateno Village, right next to your house where they've been loitering the entire game. And... and <laughs> intensified and building. I see. Excellent. I'm counting on you. Well, again, I didn't expect this to take up the lion's share of the episode, but I'm fine with it. This is... This is more progress than we have seen in a while, and... It's an old loose end that I'm more than willing to tie up. Bolson! Carson! How goes it? Morning, Bayer! Oh yeah, thanks for the big purchase. Seriously, though, well done. Where'd a kid like you get that kind of dough? Thanks to you, I was, I'm getting a plum bonus. Me and my girlfriend are gonna grab a tasty meal. I forgot his voice, but it has to be something good. Morning! Wait, what? Hudson's getting married, and he wants us me to attend the wedding. Wow, good on him. Okey-doo, I'm in. Wedding time, baby. Not like there's anything to do here, anyway. Well, I guess I'll get packed and head towards Hudson pl Hudson's place. Please, do. <laughs> this'll be fun. Okey-doo. <laughs> oh, I remember his voice. He was a hippie, wasn't he? Carson, <laughs> we're headed out. Finally! I've been waiting for this day! We're gonna go there. Like... Fast. Like... Dust in the wind, dude. Dust... We Got my best looking gear. Best looking horse. I'm ready for this wedding. Meh. Terrytown's done, I think. Hopefully, maybe. Hello. There's a, a mule there. And I feel like it's looking even better than before. Maybe that's just my my pride speaking. But we have, yeah, we have a, citizens. People living in a town. It's gotten warm, hasn't it? Oh, what do we have here? It looks like another youngin in the town. Who are you? I'm called Moggs. My son has grown up and I'm retired. So when I heard a rumor about Terrytown, I just had to move here. And I'm glad I did. My pets seem much happier here too. Anyway, come back and chat with me again sometime. Look at this little cute, charming town. Hey, Ronson. Hudson. Have your guests arrived yet? Can we get this going? Hey. You extend my, in, my invitation for me. Thank you. Now then, Carson and the boss, Bolson, are waiting for things to begin. Shall we start the ceremony? Of course. Understood. Then let's join the gathering. Ahem. <laughs> Ahem. Silence, please, everyone. We shall now begin. We are gathered here today to join Hudson and Ronson in holy matrimony. Hudson, before the eyes of those witnesses and before those of Goddess Hywia, 
Do you take Wanson to be your wife? To have and to hold in good times and in bad? Ooh. I do. Excellent. And Wanson. Man, she's even in white. Uh, this is great. Before the eyes of those witnesses and before those of Goddess High we are, do you take Hudson <laughs> as your waffly wedded husband in sickness and in health? And do you vow to name your children <laughs> in accordance <laughs> with the Bolson Construction Naming Guidelines? <laughs> Wait a moment. Those vows are not traditional by anyone's standards. What makes you say that? <laughs> They're as traditional as it gets, dude. Huh, I don't think she means traditional in that sense of the word. <laughs> a vow of undying tradition and a vow of guidelines compliance. <laughs> I'll take that vow. <laughs> think of future generations. Well, those are the guidelines. I do. Excellent. Ahem. And so, dear we beloved, let me please help me in gathering this newly married couple. I wish this new couple but nothing but the utmost happiness as they set out on this journey of marital bliss. Because they are in love. To love. <laughs> oh, I never it's gone? Come on! I wanted to mingle. I wanted to dance. I wanted there to be a first dance and like the father comes out. <sighs> okay. From the ground up. Their wedding was a shining beacon in an otherwise dark, dangerous world. Ronson was a little taken aback by a few of the vows, but everything worked out fine and is in complete compliance with Bolson Construction's guidelines. It's only polite to give your blessing to the newly couple who just vowed their undying love. So go talk to Hudson. And I shall do that. Hudson, Ronson, you're always over here. Why don't you have a house? Hey, it's you. Thank you for attending the ceremony. Are you crying? What? No, just something in my eye. And now Terrytown looks like a real town at long last. This is all possible th because of you. I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you did. Alright. This is for you. Diamond times three. You know, I would have been content without a reward. But three diamonds? I'm not going to complain. These were found outside the inside the boulders we smashed when we were clearing the land. Rods and I have no use for them. You can take them. I wish I could give a wedding gift, but unfortunately I can't. From the ground up, as a sign of appreciation for bringing the town together and as compensation for your work, Hudson gave you a hefty amount of gems that were unearthed during the town's construction. You wished the couple eternal happiness before heading on your way. And that's it. It's done, I think, maybe. Hello, it's you. Ronson and I are very happy to live here now. So isn't something there's something important you should be doing? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Then get to it. You traveled the world helping folks, but there's more that need helping. You don't have the luxury of tearing ter in here. <laughs> Not what, what the town is about, though. Ronson. Vazak. Did you need me so, for something? Savak. <laughs> yes, Savak. That is correct. <laughs> The wedding ceremony wasn't what I expected, but it was special all the same. Do you, did you like the dress? I made it myself. No kidding! Although Hudson wanted me to weave the gems he mined into it, so every step down the aisle was a struggle. Well, that's life for you. With all its twists and turns, I hope you'll stick with us through them. See, this is where I wish I could have put my town if possible. This, there are a lot of things happening, going on. And you feel like you've participated, as opposed to Hateno, where you just feel like you're just in the group. And that you're kind of nothing. But either way, I'm, hap I'm happy. Let's talk to yeah. these people and finish off the episode by talking to everyone. Good day! You were all helpful in getting this town into the shape it is now, weren't you? Hudson is really grateful. Aww. I can tell whenever and wherever I meet you. You're no ordinary man. Mm. Hey, uh, the 
bride and groom were lovely, weren't they? <laughs> Love. It's such a sublime, precious thing, you know? My best wishes to the couple. Now that the wedding's over, we should probably head back to Hateno Village. Well then. Oh. Carson, we're going home. Oh. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> we're gonna walk back across Hyrule. I, again, did not expect to spend so much time in this episode uh, doing this, and less so did I expect that we would be spending the entirety of the episode doing this, but now that, uh, bleh, bleh. Now that we have, I'm, I'm happy with the result. This was a, a loose end that I've been waiting to clear up for a long time, and I was very eager to see how the, all of this would end up ending. So, while I wrap up the episode exploring the, the houses, because... There are some new people around. There are new people and maybe some ha and treasure chests that I could rob. Hello, oh. Ruli. Hello. Do you need something from me? What's the matter? Our daughter has been in poor health lately. My husband believed that moving here could help, so he bought a house. <laughs> I do like it here. The air is clean. There aren't too many people. Despite my husband's determination, I wasn't too sure if a move if a move was a good idea. But our daughter is slowly improving. Mm. The only thing left is for her appetite to return. I'm sure she'll get well faster if she ate more. Uh. <sighs> At night, I've got to ask Papa for advice again. Uh, it almost seems like there are some quests laying around. Are you a traveler? That's right. Is it fun? It's... it's tough. I see. When I grow up, I want to be out all by myself. Well, eat first, and then maybe that'll happen. So, we're supposed to come back here at night, huh? Well, I am happy to oblige. Maybe not this episode, because I feel like we're... Fairly up there in time, but maybe next. So let's just finish. Oh, hello. Let's finish exploring some of the village, and then uh, end things off. Link, are you needing a good of a good sleep and a hearty meal? Yes, please. I thought so. Thanks to the benevolence of the goddess Hywia, I can offer you a place to stay. When would you like me to wake you? Uh, never mind. You can. You can do that when I need to come back at night to do a possible quest. So there is now a an inn, which will have its own special buff, just like all the other ones. So a good meal and a, a soft bed is the the specialty of this area. We've had a massage. We've had a water bed. We've had a mas oh wait, we go I already listed massage. Uh, we had a steam thing, like a steam room, and then. We've had a down pill, a down mattress, and now we have a good meal. Hey, Grante. Mm. Huh, what? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Grante, a dashing novice researcher of ancient civilizations. I've still got a lot to learn, though. That's why my father told me to go out and see the world. Mm. Are you also making your way through the world? Something like that? Uh. Oh, you too, huh? I'm beside myself with glee. Anyway, you must have come a very long way to get here. Hey, how about as a reward, I let you buy my ultra-rare armor at a decent price. Sound like a good deal? Mm. I'm sure you'll find a good use for it on your journey. Show me the goods. <laughs> I'm looking to get a set of rare armor in stock soon. It's called, a uh, Climb something or other. Oh. A complete set of rare gear called Barbarian something or other. <laughs> I've got a complete set of this rare gear. It's rubber something something. Here you go. Really? 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 This gives us everything. That's great. And also, it makes total sense because if you are if you accidentally sell your gear, you have no way of getting it back. But with this, you can. But we can finally get the barbarian leg wraps. I don't know where they're supposed to show up, but we can finally get them. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm blown away, and I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, let, I'll be right back, buddy. Exploration paid off, or I'm about to pay him off for the armor. Hey, I, don't, I hope you don't mind if I just put muddy footprints on the side of your house. I'm just going to climb up a vertical incline and, and buy your stuff. Yes, show me those goods. You aren't kidding around. Those are definitely good. Barbarian leg wraps, I will buy those in a heartbeat. I'm so happy you like it. Well, I'm glad, too. Wow. 
that that's a better reward than the diamonds we got. All right. Hey guys, or not hey guys, it's gals. <laughs> hey guys, and girls, welcome to the end of the episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, keep watching because the episodes are only going to get better. And if there's something you want to see me go and do, or a place you'd like to see me visit, or a quest you'd like me to show off, then post it in the comments, and I'll get around to it eventually, or mention it on screen. All right, thank you so much for watching. Next time, we'll actually do what I meant to do this episode, which is go back to Rito Village and complete those two shrine quests which we know about. There's a shrine there, and there's a shrine there, and apparently, now that we have defeated or tamed Divine Beast Va Meadow, we are able to complete that quest. All right, I'll see you guys next time for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a song passed down in the Rito village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is a big stone platform with the pillars behind us. It, the lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the song, the rocks to sing, open the monk's door, will swing. Okay, what do you think that means?